what is going on guys thanks for checking out this video my sports gamatria in this video i'm gonna go over a football game for thursday november 14th 2024 i'm gonna show you highlights of each side and it's gonna be up to you to determine who you think will win based on the numbers i encourage you to add additional information on top of this if needed for you to feel confident in your own pick and if for some reason you're curious to know who I'm picking in these games, you'll have to draw my Patreon. My picture always in writing, underline, and italicized. For more information on that, please read the pinned comment in this video below in the comment section. I wish you guys the best of luck on all your picks for this day, for this game. Let's go ahead and get to the game. We're going to be looking at the Thursday night football game, the Commanders versus the Eagles in Philadelphia. Philadelphia is three and a half point favorites. You know, I'm going to be quite honest with you guys before getting too far into this video. You're not going to like this video. There's no numbers for this game. I'm going to be very, if you want to just end the video now, honestly, I'll probably go over like one or two narratives for each side, but putting this game together, I couldn't find anything on either side. But before we get into that, let's go ahead and recap last week's results. Let's bring up the screen a little bit bigger. Let's do last week's results first. So last week, week 10, of course, I don't win Monday Night Football. There's no surprise there. Uh, I did the Ravens and Bengals. I did Ravens over Bengals on Thursday. I picked Commanders over Steelers. They lost. I picked Cardinals over Jets. They won. I picked the Lions over the Texans. They won. And then, of course, I lose Monday Night Football. No shocker. No surprise. So that puts my overall picking record for this NFL season 35 wins and 19 losses. 35 wins and 19 losses. That puts me at about a 64% winning ratio overall for this season. If we're looking at strictly just primetime games, I have 19 wins and 11 losses. Now, if we want to get more specific than that, th specifically Thursday night football, I'm 8 and 2. Sunday night football, I'm 7 and 3. And then Monday night football, I am 4 and six i don't know what i did there i did the headline for no reason anyway yeah so monday night football is just monday night football just like last season i'm just not that good at it but let's go ahead and get into this game the eagles versus the commanders on this side of the screen is what I call my daily numbers, date numerology, Gregorian Hebrew calendar. And then on this side of the screen is what I call my game numbers, numbers specific to the game. The way that I have it structured here is I have the distance to the upcoming Super Bowl up top. I have the location of the game, city, state, stadium coordinates. I keep track of home team win-loss records for the NFL. So this will be the 153rd NFL game for this season. I have the head-to-head -head records between the two teams right here. And then I have the home team right here, their season record, their coach's record, their quarterback record, their name could meet you to and from their birthday. And then at the bottom is the row team, their season record, their coach's record, their quarterback record, their name could meet you to and from their birthday. So let's go ahead and just hop right into this game. Like I said already, you guys are going to like this video because there's literally nothing here uh, numbers wise. I don't I, I spent all last night just kind of looking over this and I just didn't mark any numbers. You know, I can have some ideas here, but it's just not, there's just not a lot of numbers here. And and this is what I'm talking about. So I always just start with the Eagles. So let's, let's talk about the Eagles, what, what it would look like for them to win. And then I'll go over some numbers for the commanders. It'll look like to see what they win or see what it would look like for them to win. But starting with the Eagles, I have zero numbers for them. I had, you know, the calendar Gregorian has 15, 33, 49, 69 date numerology, the 319th day, leaving 47 left. 13th day of the second month for the Hebrew civil, the 43rd day, 220th day for the Hebrew religious side, 13th A. I have no numbers for these. I don't see an eight or a two for the Eagles. I don't see a seven or a three. I don't see a four or one. I don't see a three or a two. I don't see a 42 anywhere. I don't see a 20 anywhere. I don't see an 86 anywhere. I don't see an 89 anywhere. On the flip side with commanders, I don't see an 83 anywhere. I don't see a 74 anywhere. I don't see, well, we'll get to that. <clears throat> there is a 51. We'll get to that. But I don't really see a 64 anywhere. Um, Yeah, I just don't see any results as far as numbers go for the calendar. Like, I don't see any. 
you know, oops, if it was the uh, 42nd day of the Hebrew civil year instead of the 43rd, you know, I can just say Eagles coach and quarterback get their 42nd win, but it's the 43rd day, not the 42nd. And I suppose you could say 42. If you write out the number 42, it does sum to 43. But I don't know. I don't know how much I like that. But we could say that. We could say Eagles, Jalen Hurts gets his 42nd win. Eagles, coach gets his 42nd win. 42, if you write it out, sums to 43. It will be the 43rd day of the Hebrew Civil. You could say that. I don't really like it, but you could say it. Also, uh, 42 sums to 74. And if the Eagles quarterback and coach both get their 42nd win, Commanders, they could become 7-4 and four for a season record with the loss to go with that. So not a direct connection for the Commanders, but if the Eagles coach and quarterback get their 42nd win, that 42 sums to 74 as well, put Commanders at 7-4 and four for the season. Now there is one uh, number here for the Commanders for a losing section. Losing section for a losing part. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Um, commanders, they could become three and three on the road for the season with a loss like 33, and it will be a day with 33 date numerology. So that's that's about as direct as we have for the calendars go. For the commanders quarterback, it will be the 333rd day of his age. So three, three, three. They could become three and three on the road. There will be a day with 33 date numerology for the Gregorian. Um, and that's the extent of it, honestly, and it's and it's kind of lame. Um, yeah, I mean, I really don't know why Eagles would get that go eight and two. There's nothing that just directly connects with that. 82, I guess maybe the 51, because we are going to talk about the 51. Let me re uh, go back with this. I take it back now that I look at it and redid it. There is numbers that go with it. I'm sorry, you guys. 82. 82. If you write out 82, it sums to 132. 82 sums to 132. It will be the 13th day of the second month for the Hebrew Civil, like 132. So we'll give that to the Eagles. Actually, that it's starting to make sense now. So it's 213 days till the Eagles coach's next birthday. 13th day of the second month for the Hebrew Civil. 132, 213, these are just anagrams of each other. The Eagles could become 8-2 and two for a season record with the win. 82 written out sums to 132. 82 written out sums to 51 as well. And this will be the number 5 quarterback versus the number 1 quarterback, like 51. And then, of course, you can say 43rd day of the Hebrew Civil, Eagles coach. Gets his 42nd win. Jalen Hurts, quarterback, gets his 42nd win. 42 written out, sums to 43. And it goes along with their 8-2 and two record for the season. 82 sums to 132. 13th day of the second month for the Hebrew Civil. So, okay. So, looking at that, I would actually put that in a good favor for Eagles then. That's actually a good thing for them. Um, I just wasn't catching prior to this, I guess. But... Um, Yeah, so that's what the Eagles have. The Eagles have the 8-2. Eight, eight so that's actually not that bad. It was It's a lot better than what I thought it was. But uh, let's go ahead and just switch sides here, just so I can show you the 51 pattern for the Commanders. Let's go ahead and switch sides and look at what would it take for the Commanders to win this game. Sorry to interrupt this video, you guys, but I need a huge favor from you. Can you go ahead and like this video and leave a comment below on who you think is going to win? It's going to help with the YouTube algorithm. It's going to help grow my channel. I really appreciate you guys being here. Let's go ahead and get back into the video. Well, there is the 51 pattern. I already kind of mentioned it. 82, if you write it out, sums to 51. The number five quarterback versus the number one quarterback. But there's something else here, too, in favor for the commanders. The number five quarterback versus the number one quarterback, like 51. And Commander's coach, he can just get his 51st win regular season for his career. Jaden Daniels, his name sums to 51. So, and then we can just use the same logic that we used for Jalen Hurts. 
if they were, he was going to get his 42nd win and the Eagles coach gets his 42nd win, 42 written out sums to 43, it being the 43rd day of the Hebrew Civil, we can just use that same logic for the commanders and just say they could become four and two for a season record on the road with a win, like 42, 42 written out sums to 43. You know, it will be the 13th day of the second month of the Hebrew Civil, a day leaving 312 left, and Jaden Daniels written out sums to 123, which is just an anagram of. 312, which is the anagram of 13 and 2 or 132. And uh, one last thing that would go against the Eagles here is the Eagles would become 7 and 3 for a season record with a loss, like 73. 7 and 3, kind of like the number 73, as Eagles give home teams their 73rd loss for the season as well to go with. So Eagles can get the 73rd home loss for the for NFL teams for the season as they become 7 and 3 for a season record with a loss to go with. And that's just kind of what I would put for, for both of these games, for not both of these games, but both of these sides. I just cannot talk for some reason. Just got out of the shower. My mind's all foggy. Long day. But yeah, um, until I fig until I plugged in that, that eighty two, Eagles had nothing in, in favor, in my opinion. But now that I plugged in the 82, 82 written out sums to one thirty two, it being the thirteenth day of the second month for the Hebrew Civil, that's a good thing for the Eagles. And then on the flip side, the Commanders, it could be the five and the one, the five quarterback versus the number one quarterback, like fifty one. Of course, eighty two also sums to fifty one, but in favor for Commanders, their coach can get his fifty first win. And then they would become four and two on the road, like 42. And so on and so forth. But uh, interesting. Okay. I mean, I don't really like this game. I'll probably go with the Eagles, honestly, with the eight and two now that I just see it. I just like that better. I just like Hebrew connections better when it comes to football. Um, and then you got the great growing in 33. Commanders can become three and three on the road. Uh, but there is a case here you can make with the 51 for Commanders. Uh, and then the 73 Eagles giving home teams their 73rd loss. They become seven and three for a season record to go with. But um, yeah, I think that's it. I think that's it. Crappy video. Not not the best video. Not the best video at all. Sorry guys, but I wanted to get a video out. Oh, one last thing, actually, for Eagles. If Eagles were to lose this game and the coach gets their his 20th loss and Jalen Hurts gets his 20th loss regular season, if you write out 20, 20 does some to 107, just like the words Washington Commanders sums to 107. So, you know, maybe it's kind of sneaky for Commanders here, but they might do it. I don't know. I'll have to just keep looking at this game. I really didn't like the numbers. I really didn't like there's just no connections, really, or very, very minuscule connections. But, but plugging in the 8 and 2, the 82, I do like that 82 with the Hebrew calendar. Uh, but commanders could be sneaky with that 51. We'll see. But thank you for watching, you guys. Sorry that this was a bad video. I'm going to try and make a better one next week. Hopefully, there's just better numbers. I mean, I can only go based off of the numbers. And this one just to give me a whole lot of numbers. Sorry for uh, talking weird or not being fully cognitive or whatever. I'm just kind of tired, tired and tired, tired, tired and feeling lazy. Been busy all day. Appreciate you guys watching. Appreciate the support. Hopefully this helps. I doubt it, but hopefully it does. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully you win all the money in the world. Thank you for watching.